This little device here can wirelessly transmit any HDMI signal to four TVs simultaneously over Wi-Fi up to 50 meters in range and in a 1080 resolution. Now we already have seen wireless transmissions from one to one, but one to four, this is a first and it's really cool. It's called Minix B14 and let's take a look on how it works. And if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons, don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description, it will get even cheaper. The setup and usage, it's really simple. At this moment, I've got this transmitter connected to four receivers with this Android stick right over here. And if I control it here, what we can see is that I'm controlling this TV, which is connected via wireless as well. I'm controlling that one right over there. Actually, I'm just controlling the stick. Everything else is a clone. I also have a monitor at the end that you can see there and a TV, which is about 20 meters away from here, but we can go up to 50 meters at 1080 resolution. So everything that I do here, we will be doing on all the other the TVs. Now in this particular setup, just to explain what I've got here, I've got the transmitter here connected to HDMI female to female so that I can connect to the other uh, stick which is male and male. Now the transmitter is meant to be connected to devices such as this which has a HDMI output, a normal HDMI output. So we connect the transmitter here and then it will share the image via wirelessly. If this was a real setup, one thing that I would do here would be to connect a HDMI splitter, which would give me a clone with two outputs. So one output I would use on the TV and the other output I would put it right over here so that I wouldn't lose a HDMI wireless adapter so close to me and I could use it far away. That would be the only change that I would make right over here. And the HDMI splitter is something really cheap on the 10 or 15 euros, something like that. Once we have the transmitter connected via HDMI, we just need to connect it via the USB type A to USB type C to power it on. And that is it. And then I just need to connect on each of the TVs that I want to use. In this particular case, I've got one right over here using the adapter that comes included, male to female or female to male HDMI, because on some TVs, we don't have space enough uh, to put the wireless adapter. So we will need to use this HDMI extender and then we can put it just next to the TV or behind the TV uh, like I do have on the other one right over there. Now the receivers also need power. So we will need to connect a USB type A to USB type C cable, which everything comes included that I'm talking right over here. And once we connect, it will pair automatically. It will show an image on screen for a couple of seconds and it will transmit everything that we have on our transmitter, which in this particular case, it's an Android TV stick, the Realme 4K and everything that I play right over here, it will play exactly exactly the same on the four TVs that I've got spread on my commercial space, on my house, if I want to have the same streaming movie, for example, or something similar. And on the tests that I've been making, I do not notice even now when browsing here, just this monitor next to that one and that one. And as soon as I click, it will show me the exact same image on all of them. So it's really, really interesting. We have seen solutions with a one to one, but one to four, it's a first and it's really cool. And it's simple as this. We just need to connect this one to the device that we want to replicate the image. And then each one of these to the TVs that we want to use. Now, in case that today I need a setup with four, I can use the four, but if tomorrow I just need to use this one and this one and this one, it will be fine because I did connect them individually and they work just great when we connect one and the other. So this is a setup that we don't need to use with the four. If today we need four, then four. If tomorrow I need two than just two. And it's not a common setup. Personally, I've never seen myself in a situation that I did require to replicate the image over wireless or even with cables 
through four different TVs. But I don't have a business to run, at least with a open door, because I believe that this in commercial environment is something that it's required a lot more. I can see this in hotel lobbies or in shops where you have TVs and displays with digital signage and examples like that. It's not really cheap to be treated as a toy because it's not a toy, but I will leave the link down below so that you can check it out. If we compare this to a one-to-one -one kit of any brand, then if we do the calculations, in my opinion, it's not expensive at all if we really need this for our setup. So once again, if it's to play around as a toy, it will be expensive. But if we are going to use this in a real situation, then not expensive. And hopefully you've enjoyed to meet the Minix V14. For me, it was a complete new one to one. It's okay, one to two, but one to four. Wow. If that was the case, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.